Hello, this is Farmer Brad, and I'm going to do a review on the Dogma Neva 3D printer. So here's the official unboxing. Going to gently remove this styrofoam from up above. here. I have it out of the box. There's uh, these under here that help keep the base plate uh, for shipping well. And let me open this up. There's some filament. Here's the legs and SD card, spatula, Let's see what's in here. Okay, so here's the power supply. And it has this uh, to remove me, but that's to help with packing. But I'll remove the head out of here. And then um, these have uh, different polarities, and this part faces the front here. And let's see, we had that one there, uh, right there. And brush off any of this extra styrofoam. So this is a Delta style model, um, so it pivots and stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and remove this there. And what's nice about this is that it just has a simple SD slot and you go into your program and you load, you load uh, your file on here and then it will print. So what they do is they send you a sample print, which is this. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and load that in the program. And then I'll run some of this through there and make sure I get comparable results. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> Okay, so now it's time to do the first calibration. So what you do is you hold down this button here and then you plug in the power adapter in the back. And then as soon as this starts moving, you release. This ends up self-leveling. Okay, the first calibration is completed. Now it's time to load uh, the file. Oh, it's still calibrating. While it's calibrating, I'm going to load this file into the program. Okay, so here I'm at dogma3d.com. And, oh, support is actually where we download. Neva 3D printer. Yes, I do. Install Cura by Dogma. Oh. 
Okay, so go to this URL. And then Cura by Dogma. And we have the Neva. And I'm on a Mac. Yes, so I'm downloading it. Okay, so I have the Dogma program. I'm going to install it. And let's copy that to applications folder. Okay, so now I go into the applications folder, Cura by Dogma. And let's open it. So here I have this, and what I'll do is it will say that it'll take about 19 minutes to do it. So let me. Okay, I'll just do reinforced and let's do fast, 14 minutes and okay, so this is what they sent us as the test sample and what we'll want to do is take this alcohol pad and rub the surface clean. And the nice thing with this printer is that it doesn't have a heat bed. So it doesn't put off a whole bunch of fumes, and you're printing with PLA, which is more environmentally friendly. So what I'm going to do is, on this side, <clears throat> this helps uh, feed the filament up there. I'm going to take this filament, and while squeezing down on this, I'm going to help feed it through and watch it for it to come all the way down to the, the print head. Let's see, almost there. Okay. We're pretty much there. Now, what I do is it's real simple. I put in the SD card and press the button. <laughs> and they also have extra of these, uh, they have extra of these build plates that you can replace them with. Take the spatula, let me go around the edge. So that's the outside. Let me peel it up. Make sure to get all of the older stuff off. And So the other thing I forgot to mention is uh, it works pretty well to have this filament along here on the side. You just don't want it to lose slack because then it will get sort of twisted up and may have difficulty uh, feeding into the printer. 
So right now what I'm doing is I'm making a uh, little bottle cap uh, that you can screw um, chicken poultry water nipple into. Um, so I think this will take probably about an hour for it to print. But uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this review of the Neva by Dagama. And at the time of this recording, they were having a sale on them for $249. And so imagine, uh, I think it's uh, 20 millimeters by 18 millimeters is the build volume, which ends up being pretty big. And uh, yeah, so check it out. And thanks for watching the video. And in the comments, say if you had a 3D printer, what would you make? And yeah, so have a great day. See you later.